Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing my top five high-end makeup purchases from 2021. So these five items, obviously I've purchased more than five things this year, but these five are the ones that really stick out in my mind as things that I bought and I truly love and I still use them. So these five things are high end. Let me know if you want me to do the drugstore version of this because uh, I definitely have five things from the drugstore I've gotten this year that I love as well. So let me know if you want me to do that one in the comments. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of makeup and beauty content here on my channel. I do high-end and drugstore content. So if you're interested in those types of videos, please keep watching and let's go ahead and get into my top five makeup purchases from 2021. All right, number one will not be a surprise. I have talked about this product so much, but I have to put it in this video because it truly is a favorite and it will be for years to come, I guarantee you. And I do have it on today and it's the Patrick Ta Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette. I know I have mentioned this so many times and I'm sorry to tell you, but this palette Absolutely, this was the first product I put in the top five when I was planning out this video because I would never be without this palette now. I'm just telling you, if I lost this, I would buy another one. And that is saying a lot because it's not cheap, it's $68, but I will admit when I first got it, I was thinking, you know, $68 is a lot for this eyeshadow palette. It's a neutral palette. I know a lot of people are kind of bored of neutrals. I never get bored of neutrals ever. And honestly, you guys, this is probably my favorite neutral palette just for every day or for glam in my whole collection as of right now. I love every shade in here. I love these creams that they include. You get a lighter one and a darker one. You get some mattes that are matte and then you get some mattes with a little bit of shimmer. You get some metallics and then you get these like topper glittery shades. The packaging is beautiful. All Patrick Ta packaging is beautiful, but I knew this had to be in this video because this is something I crave using. When I go a certain number of weeks or however long without using this, I will sit and think to myself, I really want to wear my Patrick Ta palette today. That's what I have on my eyes right now and I love it. I guarantee if you buy it, you will not regret it. I bet you will love it. I wanted to mention it because I know the Sephora sale is coming. I think they just announced the dates and I think it starts for Rouge on November the 5th, I want to say. So maybe a Christmas gift or get yourself something from the Sephora sale and you can save a little bit of money too. I highly, highly recommend that palette. While we're talking about Patrick Ta, I know some of you are thinking that this product is gonna be in this video, the Patrick Ta Brow Shaping Wax, and this would be in the top five, but I actually went back and looked at my Sephora account and I actually bought this one in 2020. So I'm not including this just because I did not buy this this year. You can see I'm almost out, but I've had this since I think it said I bought it in October of 2020. So I'm not including this, but not because it wouldn't be in the top five, but because I did not buy it in 2021. Okay, number two, this one may or may not be a surprise. I know I've talked about how much I liked it in a few videos, but I don't think I've used it a ton in videos, but I wear this a lot when I'm not filming and I have it on today. It's by Derma Blend and it's their CC Cream. This is the Continuous Correction Full Coverage CC Cream with SPF 50. I said this when I reviewed this the first time and I still stand by this. This is the better version of the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I'm sorry, I know a lot of people love that It Cosmetics CC Cream and I have tried to love it. In fact, I've purchased that a few different times 
in different shades and no matter what shade I get, no matter which finish I get, because now they come in a matte, a dewy, and the original one. I just don't love that product. I don't know what it is, but I just don't love it. I don't love the smell, first of all. I think the shade range really needs some work. I, I'm just not a fan, not a fan. It looks very heavy and I don't love it. This, however, so good, so, so good. No weird smell. It has SPF 50. You still get the full, full coverage if you want it, but you can also apply a very small amount and get more of a light medium coverage. It depends totally on how much you apply. It's, I would say, more of a natural finish. It's not really matte and it's not dewy. It's just kind of right in between. I have it on today and I, I mean, I don't know what to say other than I love this. I think that if you have more mature skin, the only thing I would say is just like with the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, you want to use a very small amount of this. This is very pigmented and it goes a long way. So you do not need a lot of this product. It's not runny at all. It comes in a little squeezy bottle like this, but... You can see it's not runny at all. It's a pretty, I don't think it's as thick as the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I just have to be honest, I really don't. I think the consistency is a little bit thinner, but the coverage is amazing. So, so good with a very, very small amount of product. Something else I wanted to mention about this is all of the colors are neutral undertones. So like I wear the shade 25 in light number one, but every single shade has an N next to it for neutral. I thought that was kind of strange in the beginning, but now that you now that I think about it, it's not. Because a lot of people don't know their undertone and a lot of people, if you're unsure, you should always go neutral in my opinion, because that way you get a little bit of both undertones and you're not gonna have something way too warm or way too cool. So I feel like most people, even if you are a cooler undertone or a warmer undertone, you can get away with neutral. I also think neutral a lot of times is the most flattering because it doesn't swing so much one way or the other, if that makes sense. I can't say enough good things about this. I use this a lot and this is my favorite foundation I've tried this year. Number three is a concealer and again y'all know I try concealers all the time. It's probably my favorite thing to try out other than correctors and I love foundations. I love complexion products in general but there's been one concealer I tried that just I reach for consistently now and it's I'm reaching for it over my other favorites that I've loved prior to buying this concealer and it's the One Size Butter Silk Concealer. To me, this is a better version of Tarte Shape Tape. The coverage, I would say, is not quite as full as Tarte Shape Tape, but it's very close. This one is thinner in consistency Definitely has a little bit of a hydrating formula to it, but it dries down to more of a satin, kind of a soft matte finish where I can sometimes wear this and not set it with powder. I do have it on today and I did set it with a little bit of setting powder, but I've worn it as well with no powder and because it does set down, you can do that. I also love this on my face. As a spot concealer, I even really like this just as my foundation. If I just wanna put something on quickly, I know I've done this on Instagram, I will just take this and put this anywhere I need coverage. And this color matches me really well. It's light number three neutral. I really like this, you guys. Now, I will say it's very pigmented. You do not need a lot of product. It's <laughs> very similar to the CC cream from Derma Blend. So I would start out with a small amount and build up your coverage. Trust me, if you do the triangle thing and fill in all the way under your eyes, 
I guarantee you're not gonna like it. It's gonna be too much. Just like for me, if you do that with Tarte Shape Tape, it just does not work. It's too much product and it turns into a cakey mess. So less is best with this and with this, but these are the two uh, complexion products I have on today and I love them both. Number four, okay, technically these are two different products, but it's the same product type just different colors. I, you'll understand when I tell you what they are, but the Hollywood Contour Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. I have this on today with the Beauty Light Wand Glowgasm in the Pink Gasm color. So this is the one that broke the internet when Madison Beer used it and you couldn't get it for months. Last time I checked, you could get it on Charlotte Tilbury's website. I don't know if you can right now, but I will check and I'll link it for you if you can. Same with this one. I know they've both been sold out at Sephora for quite some time now, but I cannot tell you how much I love these two products. The only thing I don't like is the applicator. I've talked about this before. They both have this little sponge tip and I don't love that. I think it wastes a lot of your product. You have to make sure to turn it to the off position when you're finished. Otherwise, your product will keep kind of coming out and collecting on your little sponge here and you'll waste your product. So make sure you close it. But these together and separately are so beautiful. These blend like a dream. This contour wand, I hopefully have a clip to overlay here. This blends so easily. Literally, it takes a few taps and it's blended. It is, I've never tried a product like this, like a bronzing contouring product in a liquid, a cream, a powder, any formula that blends as easily as this. I don't know how it's possible because when you put it on your face, it looks pretty dark and scary, but it blends like butter. <laughs> I mean, it just blends into your skin so effortlessly. And it really does kind of sculpt out your cheeks, your forehead, your jaw if you want, even your nose, without being super, super cool toned. It's definitely cool. So it does give you a little bit of a shadow, but it's not so cool toned that it looks gray if that makes sense. This is the fair medium, but it also comes in medium dark as well. If you are a deeper skin tone than I am, this is good. If you can get your hands on this, I would highly recommend it. Same with the Beauty Light Wand in Pinkgasm. I have it on today. You can see not, this is like a blush and a highlighter in one. So if you do not love super glowy, cheeks, you're not a big highlighter person, you probably won't like this because this is a blush, but it definitely gives your cheek that kind of luminosity. So if you don't like that, you won't like this. But if you do, you will love this. I guarantee it. I mean, look at that glow and that color. And that's just from these two products. I cannot tell you how much I love them. I, I don't use them as much as I want to because I don't want to use them up <laughs> because they're hard to get. That's how much I love these. And the last product is a lip product. And this was hard. I've tried a lot of lip products this year, but there was one that I kept going back to. I kept thinking about this one product and I do have it on my lips right now. And it's the lip gloss from NARS in the shade Chelsea Girls. I love this color so much. I'm not kidding you. This goes with everything. It transforms every lipstick into the prettiest peachy, pink, glossy lip. It's not sticky. It's not thick. It has a good bit of pigment to it. Oh my gosh, today I have this on over the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW lipstick. And this lipstick, if you're not familiar, is very, very nude. It's very light. So when I put this on originally, I was like, okay, that's a bit too light on its own. But then you put this on top and it literally just 
transforms the color. Oh my gosh. It is so good. And what makes this even better, I did not pay full price for this lip gloss. I got this at Marshall's for $7.99. I don't know how it ended up there because they still sell it in Sephora and Ulta. This lip gloss in Chelsea Girls. But I did pay $7.99 at Marshall's for mine. But I would buy another one and I would pay full price. No questions asked. I love it so much. It's very rare that I find a lip gloss that I like the formula, I like the color, I like everything about it. I wouldn't change anything and that's what this gloss is. I only have this one shade. I would just recommend this gloss in general, but if you like a neutral pinky lip, you'll love this. Sometimes I wear this on its own. Sometimes I wear it just with a little bit of lip liner and then sometimes I top my lipstick and lip liner with this. And that's what I did today. So good. If you find this at Marshall's, TJ Maxx, I think I've seen it at both places actually. Pick this up, you will not regret it. And that is gonna be it for this quick video. I just wanted to share my top five favorite makeup purchases from 2021 because I am gonna do one of these at the end of the year, rounding up the entire year and all the things that I've loved, but these five are the standout high-end products for me as of right now, and I just think it's interesting to know what people have purchased and genuinely love and keep reaching for, so I thought I would share these things with you, and I know the Sephora sale is coming up here soon, and if you want to pick up any of these things during the sale, you would know a few of my recommendations. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I hope you'll subscribe if you have not already. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but I am posting every day in October here on YouTube. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok, simply.blair01. I will list these products and everything else that I have on my face today in my description box with the links. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Remember, simply be you.